Hey, how's it going guys? So today we got another anodizing video. We're going to take a piece of titanium and I'm going to go through 0 to 120 volts to kind of give a guide on how many volts make what colors. I'm doing this one for myself for future projects so I can go back and watch the video and see, okay, well, how did I get that color? How did I get that color? But also for you guys, this is something I looked for when I first started anodizing. I couldn't really find any videos. I found one where a guy did it, but he skipped like a bunch of, he only went to like 100 or something. He skipped a bunch of the colors I'm looking to get. So I'm going to go through all of them. I'm just going to turn the machine up real slow. We're just going to use one titanium bead. And yeah, so let's get into it. All right, gang, for this demonstration, I'm going to be using a titanium beglary bead just on a piece of aluminum wire. My source here is the KPS 12, 1203D. I got this off eBay. Um, if you want a more detailed tutorial, I have a video up, you can check that out. This is just going to be more of a color and voltage guide. So I'm going to place it right here, and I'm going to turn it up really slowly, so you can kind of see as it develops. Hopefully the camera picks this up good. So we're going to start, it, nothing really happens until about like 10 volts. Then it starts, you see it starts getting a little darker. 10 volts, it starts to turn slightly brownish. See that? Okay, so as we go towards 15, it's going to get darker shades of brown. So 10 to 15, you're going to get a lot of your brownish colors. See, let's, as we slowly get towards 15, that's a nice, real dark brown. I don't know why you'd want to anodize brown, but you know, as you get closer to like 17, 28, 20s, it starts to get purple, so it's going to slow up here. Seventeen. There we start to see purple, like real dark purple colors, not vibrant purple, and I like dark, big league chew grape. Okay, so slowly go up as we start to get into the twenties. These purples will turn towards blues. And I'm trying try to go real slow. This thing is very sensitive. Okay, at twenty we get a nice purple it really comes out a little better there not quite as dark nice nice purple color there up to 23 it starts to get purpley blue at 25 most of the purple will pretty much come out 25 is like a nice royal blue As we slowly go up, the blues start to get lighter and lighter and lighter. So if you want a dark blue, you go from like 23 to 25. Pretty much 25 to 35, I know, is all different shades of blue. So as you get around 35, it'll start to get like a, like a silvery, like a stone, or you know, like an old worn jeans look. You see, as you can notice, it's starting to get blue, lighter and lighter blue. Kind of a neat color right there. At 35, you see we got a nice like bluish silver kind of color. There's a cord on the way. I don't know if that's messing with your sight at all. See as we go up, it's gonna actually start, I believe, around here to fade kind of like back to like a metal looking color. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, 45. Yeah, it's starting to get like like a metal with like tints of green. Like a super, super light greenish color. I know as we get into the 60s, it'll start to get pinks and purples. 
Here at 50 is like starting to go towards gold, kind of like an army, like an army green color. And my clip was, my wire was starting to break. It should fade more into a darker, darker gold. Closer we get to like 58 ish. 60 starts to go pink to purple, I know. Let's see. See, we're getting nice golds now. Let's take that out for a second. So that's 58. It's like a deep, kind of goldish color. Sixty. Start to get like a copper. See the higher we get in sixties, we're gonna start. We're gonna start to get like pinkers now. There we go. Look at that color. It was a little, if you wanted like a pink, you would have I would have took it out a little earlier. It's going to get really vibrant. We're going to get the real vibrant purples here now. I kind of went a little fast. You didn't really see the pink. Pink was like six, 65 to 66. Here, 69. We're getting like real vibrant purples now. These are cool colors. Pretty much the coolest colors are from like 60 to 90, in my opinion. So these we're going to take it a little slower. So here we got a real sharp purple. I like that color. That's a cool color at 70. Let's 72. 72 once again, a very, just a slightly different shade. Like I said before, these are most of the purples are all in these 70s. 75 if you get a real dark purple, but not like that dark purple we got it like real low voltage. This is a much more in your face purple. Okay, so let's keep going up. Let's go to let's go up to 80. 80, that's a cool purple. I really hope I, this video helps people that are trying to do this themselves. You know. Okay, we're going to start to get like turquoises now. I'm going to go real slow here. I'm going to check it at like 85. You know, should have like purples with like turquoises in it around 85. Yeah, it's, it's starting to turn turquoise type color. I think these are some of the coolest colors. Like these volts. Yeah, like 80, 88 volts gives you an awesome, awesome turquoise. If you want like a turquoise color, I'd say like 88 volts, probably perfect. When you start to get closer to 90, it's gonna start turning more greenish. I'll show you what I mean. 89. See, we're getting slight hints of green. We're going to get into the teals. Teal is like 90 to 92 that I've established from playing with this. Let's try this color. Yeah, look at that. That's cool. That's a cool teal color. So, if you want like teal or turquoise, it's, it's very slight difference between the two. So, you got to be really sensitive. You got to be really careful and take it slow. 92. Let's get more, more green in the teal color. Very cool. Very cool color there. Go to 94. We're starting to get darker and darker green now. Ninety-five still teal, but get more green now, more like regular old green. The higher colors on the spectrum take longer too because 
It just takes longer for it to build the layer on the outside of it, you know. Yeah, that's what 100 looks like. Give that a minute. See, still that like teal color, but definitely, definitely more green in it now. And then it's just going to get more green as we get up to 120, and then eventually it'll actually go back to silver. It's kind of weird how that works. You see this number? I got. I can't turn. It, I'm trying not to turn it up till this number gets back to zero or one. I want the, like I said before, the dark colors take a little longer. See, it's actually starting to get like back to silverish. Really, really weird how it does that. But yeah, that's pretty much the majority of the colors you can get out of a setup like this at home. Uh, once again, this is just for like titanium, you know, metals like that. Not for, you know, this won't work for steel or aluminum. Like all you yo-yo players that keep asking me if I can do a yo-yo like this. I, I mean, unless it's like a titanium shutter or something. But yeah, you see, now as we get back to like 120, it's going to go back to, back to like its original color. Now, if I want to re-anodize this, I have to strip all this off because you can't go back on the spectrum. You can only go up higher. So if I had a higher power supply, there might be more colors after 120, but that's really the best I can do with this. So, yeah, I hope you guys learned something. And until next time, guys, I'll see you later.